Hello, guys, and welcome to your crypto report for this Wednesday, September 19th, 2018. Uh, first thing we're going to do, start the charts right here, and we're going to take a look at uh, Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin price at Bitstamp today, uh, 6286. We're getting down close to the uh, support levels, which is at rate at $6,000. <clears> we're still in the bear market, guys. We have not been released yet from the clutches of this bear market. And so what everybody out there needs to do is the smart money is going to incrementally, very slowly but meticulously, buy the dips all the way down to the bottom. And then even... Buy the dips a little bit back up the other side when we come out of the bear market. That's what the smart money will do. Because eventually these cryptocurrencies are going to become currencies. They're going to become the currencies. The fiat currencies are going to be in the process of dying. And this is where you, where the real money is going to come. Institutional money is just beginning to pop the cryptocurrency, it popped the cryptocurrency market up to 20,000. It poured out. But eventually it's going to pour in, it's going to stay in the institutional money. Now let's take a look at cryptocurrency market capitalizations today. What we're looking at is uh, the cryptocurrencies at $196 billion today. Bitcoin dominance at 55.5%. We got uh, some coins in the green, and we got some coins in the red. Uh, one of the coins I particularly follow is Litecoin. Litecoin is at a really good price mark today of $52.71. I'm almost tempted to get a Litecoin or two because I'm going to tell you, that's an awfully good price. 52 bucks a piece for a whole Litecoin. We're not talking about a little fragment of a Litecoin here. We're talking about a whole Litecoin for 52 bucks. I mean, you go to McDonald's with three kids nowadays and you spent 50 bucks. The price of a whole Litecoin. What might be a whole Litecoin worth 10 years from now? You know? Now let's take a look at something else. Let's take a look at some uh, financial institutions that are coming into the Bitcoin space by the end of this year. Fidelity Investments Group, huge company, Fidelity Investments. They are going to release crypto products by the end of this year, 2018. And there's something I noticed in this article. Uh, well, they were talking, they're, they're not being exactly, uh, they're being a little bit coy, this company, about exactly what they're doing. Uh, they just say, we've got a few things underway a few things that are partially done things i mean that's very general could be anything uh, that but it's related to cryptocurrency what they're talking about uh, and they say a few things are kind of on the shelf because it's not really the right time i'm going to tell you what they're on top of cryptocurrencies more than you think they are they know we're in a bear market and that's what they mean when they say it's not really the right time says, we hope to have some things. They're being very general, aren't they? That's because there's so much money involved in this. That's why they're being so general about it. They're not coming right out and discussing exactly what's going on. If there's no money involved in all of this, they come right out and say exactly what they're doing. They wouldn't care because, but these, these banks are keeping it under their cuff a little bit. They're not letting us see exactly what they're doing because there's so much money involved in this. They're excited. They're excited about it. There's so much money pouring into the going to be so much money pouring into this space that these bankers now are looking for their opportunities. Bankers and, and these companies like Fidelity Investments, I link them in with the bankers. I mean, it's all the same. It's all the same thing. Same same damn thing. The people who manage our money are, are a bunch of crooks, basically, and they're looking how how they can profit off of the crypto market. Because they can see which way this is going now. And they want a piece of the pie. 
They've always wanted a piece of the pie. They've got a piece of the pie. More than a piece of the pie, most times they've taken the whole pie away from us. It's going to be harder for them to take the whole pie away from us, especially the HODLers out there. Because now we've got a piece of the pie of the new financial system of the world. And these bankers are going to want to get our pie away from us. It's as simple as that. So Fidelity Investments, they've got plans. They're, they're keeping their plans to themselves. But they're, they're telling us just a little bit, a few little tidbits here of what they're up to. Okay? But you got to listen very carefully to what they say. It says, because it's not really the right time, it says right there. What does that mean? It means they know cryptocurrencies in a bear market. Now, when they say we hope to have things to announce by the end of the year, what they're saying basically is that they think cryptocurrency is probably going to be out of the bear market by the end of the year and that they're, they'll be ready to announce. Sometimes... You have to read between the lines, and that's what I'm reading between the lines on this statement here from Fidelity. Fidelity might know an awful lot more than we know about the cryptocurrency market and how it's going to move and whether it's going to move up or down in the next few months. And they might be giving you hints here. <laughs> we hope to have some things announced by the end of the year. In doublespeak, maybe that means... We hope that Bitcoin will be in a bull market by the end of the year and we can announce what we're going to do, you know. And when they say here, because it's not the right time, meaning Bitcoin's in a bear market right now and we're not going to announce anything, while sentiment is, is, is down because we want to buy up more Bitcoin on the cheap for ourselves and we don't want the price going up just yet. So we're going to hold off our announcements. See, this is, this is doublespeak, and you got to read between. And that's what I'm reading between the lines and all this. So listen, thank you guys for listening. Like and subscribe, and we'll catch you with another update tomorrow morning. Bye-bye for now, guys.